Well, 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 it looks like we have a pretty bad summer, which is a good thing for me. I hate summer. After much thinking for every Q&A video, I will first answer your questions about the app and I will add a second part which will be about what we are planning to do on the app because it seems to be something that you're interested in and I want to keep you updated. So I want to show you that we are not doing nothing on the app, that we are working every day. Hey, it's me, Roku. First of all, I want to say thank you. Thank you so much for your positivity. Thank you so much for sharing my project. Thank you so much for the views. My video about the app reached almost a thousand views. And I've got now 140 subscribers, which is enormous. <laughs> I'm so happy about it. Uh, my biggest wish is to reach a thousand subscribers, but I don't think it's possible, but... <laughs> Sincerely, I've had so many cute comments, so many adorable comments. You've been so nice to me most of the time <laughs> and I really appreciate that. Even if you think that your only comment will not be enough, will not be supportive, well, it is. Every comment is so important to me. To us, because my boyfriend is also looking at the comments. We even had an article wrote by Little Lace and Lies. Sorry for the pronunciation. She made an article on her blog and it was so interesting to read because she really investigated on the app and that was really, really pleasant to see someone investing time on this. Everything that is connected to the app, every story you share with me, I put them in my Instagram right here so that you can see everything about the evolution of this project. So don't forget to follow me on the Instagram because I post Sometimes I do things <laughs> and also on the Play Store you've been many people commenting and it's very important because otherwise nobody can see the app and the more you comment, the more you share your positivity, the app will be on the top of the list. And also Fluffy Kawaii Jewel sent me a lot of love and it was... I was really happy about it. I really wanted to do something that is useful for everyone or at least as many people as possible but I don't think I can reach everyone with this project but yeah some people were like it's so not useful I don't understand <laughs> this app is so shit I, I don't I don't know it's not useful at all I was expecting maybe constructive criticism <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, also thank you for my Patreons, I received a lot of love and it's very important considering what's gonna happen next, we are still working on the app, so... And by support the project, I mean giving me money, <laughs> no for real, um, as you're adding items on the app, the cost of the server is increasing, so that's complicated, I will go back to that. So if you want to support the project and you don't want to give money, which is totally normal, you can just share the project with a maximum people because these people will also share the project and oh, it's beautiful, power of social media. <laughs> so yeah, just sharing the project and even commenting, watching my videos and everything is so important. So thank you. So we have now almost four hundred users on the app. So happy about it, my boyfriend too, because we, we are so grateful and we realize that we didn't do everything for nothing as many people are using the app. So yeah, and I hope that many people looking at this video will also decide to download this app. <laughs> so let's move on to the questions. The first bad comments I've received so many times I think it's uh, about the number of items on my app. So people were so sad to find out that my app doesn't have every Lolita items <laughs> released uh, from 1990 to 2022. <laughs> I know, I know, 
I mean, I know. <laughs> it's simply because we don't have a bot to do that. It's so much work, to be honest, to do that. I mean, it's kind of a pleasure because I really love Lolita fashion, mm, no joke. <laughs> but it's still complicated. There are probably 100 thousands items that have been released over the years in the Lolita fashion, in the Lolita world, and it's not easy for one person to add them all. It's not feasible for real. So that's why I've tried to ask people if they wanted to be an admin on the app, which means you can create items and you don't have to wait for these items to be approved because they will be approved if you are an admin. I think the more the app will be known, the more people will ask to be admin, but you have to match some criteria, because some items were very... there were not really much information about it. Like, sometimes people just put the brand and the picture, which is not enough, because I want this database to be as complete as possible, so... Um, on the other hand, on the other hand, some people made really, really good items with keywords, measurements, substyles, and all the pictures, all the colorways, and the brand and the collection. That's very important. Think about the other when you enter items. So it it takes time also for me to complete these items and to approve them. So yeah, it was a bit difficult, but. Uh, I think we had 400 items last week and now we are like something like 20 items left. I've got help, so I've chosen three admin that will help me to do this. But you can totally apply to be an admin, don't hesitate to ask me. So we have about 3000 items on the app, which is huge! We have so many! Angelic Pretty Items, Baby the Starshine Bright, and Lady Sloth, and I think we've got pretty much all the fluffy Tory items. Um, sometimes I can't find the images, so don't hesitate to take pictures of your own item and add them to the app. It's always a plus for the app. It is always better to have people in a community to share their, their own things, and that's how things grow. So the other question I had in the beginning, the very beginning is, can I have the app on my iPhone? The answer is yes, because I do have an iPhone. The only issue you were confused about, I think, it's because people search on the Apple Store. And as I said, it's not possible to be on the Apple Store because you need to pay $100 a year to be on the Apple Store. Whereas to be on the Play Store, it's free. We are already spending $350 for the server. It's just adding one more cost. So it's not possible for us. You just have to go to the website and click on this little arrow thing and add to the menu and you will have the app like everyone else, will not change anything. Some people ask me, the app can't stop crashing on my phone. So yeah, I've noticed that for some Android phone. Why? Because you have, you need to have at least Android 8. Why? It's not because we decide, it's not because we are mean people, <laughs> mean towards older phones. It's just because the technology we use it's uh, starting from Android 8. If you have below Android 8, maybe you will encounter issues for browsing the web or even for your own safety. It's not very... Uh, I'm not encouraging consumption here, but it's very important to be able to have the la latest technologies on your computer, on your phone. And so the technology we used in web development are supposed to work starting from Android 8. So I'm sorry if you have an older phone, just use the web version on Chrome and don't try to install it because it won't work. You can still use the website and you can still use on your computer. And when you have errors on the app, don't hesitate to send me a PM on Instagram. Send me your version of Android or iOS. The 
type of phone you have and send me your Chrome version if you're on Android because if you are on iOS it will be Safari. I use the app every day and I've not I and I haven't noticed anything going wrong but maybe with your specific phone some bad things can happen and we need minimum information to be able to solve the issue. So some people ask me, okay, it's good for brand items, but what about handmade items? It's the same, you can, you can perfectly add your handmade items, just specifically just put off-brand as a brand. Also, some people ask me, is it open source? Yes, it is! So if you want, if you are a web developer and you really want to help us, yeah, feel free. Send me a PM and I will give you the GitLab link. Recently, we've had an issue, which is my desktop app does not synchronize with my phone. Yes, it's complicated because there is no really, uh, you're not supposed to use the app at the exact same time on your desktop and on your phone because the server will not know what version you want to keep. You either need to put your tab on the browser on your desktop um, in the background on reduce them or is it on your phone meaning you don't have to close the app but just reduce the app on your phone. Or is it on your phone, meaning you don't have to close the app, but just need to hide the tab on your phone. If it's too late and if you have two versions, for example, two versions of your wish list or two versions of your closet that are different because you used the app on the same time on both device, um, go to the version which is the more complete, the version you want to keep, modify something so it will save it the backup will be triggered for the other device so i know it's complicated but just make a modi make a small modification on the version you want to keep and so the backup will be triggered by this modification and if you're afraid to lose anything just when your wishlist and closet are complete just go to the profile menu and you have import export so export and import it you can import it either on your phone either on your computer it works on both devices so it's a way to back up everything why is the sun coming it's brighter and it's hotter it's 25 degrees but i was good with my 24 <laughs> seriously no i hate it so can you do a Facebook group? Yes! So we didn't think about it because we didn't really think about the fact of having a community that wants to exchange about, about certain topics. So we created a Facebook group and now you can join it because we are only 60 people whereas there are 400 people using the app. So yeah, join this group on Facebook so that you can be aware of the changes and it's really important because I'm gonna share the maintenance face on the group and I'm gonna share a lot of other things so it's really important if you want to be aware of what's gonna happen next. So I will now ask a few questions I received on this group. So Luna, sorry I'm gonna say your name but it's public so everybody can see it anyway. Luna Schmidt asks, what are some features you're planning to add in the future? So I'm gonna go back to the feature we, are, we want to add to the app. There are so many. I mean, this is a, a long time project, so you're gonna see many changes, don't worry. You will be able to have a direct shop link to any, any brand. For example, for Angelic Pretty, it's pretty easy <laughs> but for uh, Taobao shops I've noticed that so many people are looking for specific shop because they don't want to buy stuff from resellers so they want to directly order from Taobao and they don't know the name of the shop so I've got a list I made a list very long list about 300 Taobao shops so I'm gonna do a video about it but I'm gonna share this in the app you will see it's complicated to explain, but yeah, you will have access to 
many Taobao link which will be easier for everyone because I've noticed that it's important for you. Um, so Florian asks, will there be a native version for phones and will it work with Lolibrary? Um, there will not be a version, a native version for phones because a PWA is already uh, something that is cross-platform so we didn't want to do something specific for phones but it's, it works for pretty much everyone on every device so it's good as it is now for us and also for technical reasons and money reasons, no! <laughs> and will it work with Lolibrary? Um, we don't know <laughs> so I've had these questions many times uh, it's not us to decide and it's a little more complicated than that. So Lollibrary has been doing an amazing job, a huge work over the year. We just arrived basically, so we just have different database. Just, it's like that. So Kelly, which is one of my admin, hi Kelly! <laughs> Uh, she's so sweet. You're so sweet, Kelly. What has the response to mail since launch been like for you? It was amazing. I was so happy to see people being happy about it. I mean, talking to everyone, it, it is so... I mean, I'm so grateful. It's such a, a good feeling. As I translated the app uh, in French, of course, for the French people, because it's the only language I can speak good <laughs> me French good <laughs> so it's the um, it, it was important because I know that French people are sometimes English is complicated for us I was so happy to see that some French people shared their feelings about the app and sometimes it was really really positive like it's my dream app I'm so happy you made this and I want to thank you again uh, all for what you all the positivity you sent me. For my mental health, it's very important to, to help us to keep going. It's very important to have such positivity. I mean, I'm still unemployed, so I've got time to, to <laughs> I've got time to make video about it. I've got time to to work on it. Bernek, sorry, I don't know how to pronounce your name, but how do I recover my password if I forgot it? Yeah, it's a good question. Um, you just have to send me a PM and I will send you the link to reset your password because it's complicated to do a full interface to recover a password but it's something we will try to implement that if we can we just put the link and you, you will be redirected on the server and it will ask you to fill either your username, either your mail address and you click on reset and you will be you will have to enter a new password so yeah for the moment just send me a PM and we will see. So Poppy asks will it be possible to send a link to my wardrobe or wishlist to a friend? Like a little help to find the perfect gift. I totally agree. <laughs> As a selfish person I would totally want these features to be possible. Yeah, it's one of the things we want to do in the very near future, being able to share the wishlist and the closet, because the wishlist you want to be like, eh, that's what I want, and for the closet you want to be like, eh, that's what I already have. <laughs> so I think it's, it's a good feature. Not so easy to implement, but we'll do it. Definitely. Now to keep you updated, <laughs> what are we doing now? Uh, right now, this weekend, if I'm able to do this editing in six hours, I will be able to post this video on Friday and on Saturday and Sunday we will enter a maintenance phase, will be just like for about an hour. Um, we are trying to correct the issue we have with the images because currently just by adding the link to the images the weight of the images is not uh, for our servers but it's for library servers which is absolutely 
uh, which is bad. <laughs> we have no right to do this, but we were not aware in the first place that it will do that. So we will change completely the system of images. Every images we have, it's about 10,000 images we have on the app. So my boyfriend put in place something that you, we will click on and it will download every images and just re-inject it on the server. So it will not be Google's images, library images and everything, it will be ours, not you no know, legal aspects, but ours in sense of um, weight and cost. That's difficult to explain, but <laughs> you see, you try to get the point. <laughs> so we will not attribute the cost of the images to uh, anyone else, we will attribute it to us. Is this clear? <laughs> and in the near future, you will be able just to copy past an image and the app will recognize it's an image and just it will work like that. No need to click right and say copy the link of the image and paste it in the app. No, you will be able to copy past an image directly, directly, whatever. So it will be at the same time easier and also it will cost us more money. It's just normal that the costs will be attributed to us and not to anyone else. Also, you will see that for this weekend there will be a new maintenance or pop-up to be able to know that so that you will not lose your data during the maintenance thing. And also the fact you can share your wish list and close it. So that's the thing we are putting place in the near future. And what will come next? So many of the things. Also for admin people you will be able to put items as duplicates. Because sometimes you are so cute you enter an items but it's already an existing items. So for the moment I suppressed these items. So you will be like, where's my item? But search it again and you will see that I already entered this item once. So please try not to enter many times the same item. <laughs> so yeah, uh, as an admin we will be able soon to put items as duplicates to say be careful, this item is a duplicate. It will be something great to be able to put the item as a, an incomplete item. When it's a handmade item, I see it quick. I'm like, oh, oh, it's a handmade item, so I just approved it. But when it's an angelic pretty item, which means we have a lot of information on the internet about every angelic pretty item so you have no excuse not to put the measurements or the substyle or uh, any information that could be useful for everyone so in that case I take time to correct the item but if I've got no time I will be able to put like this item is incomplete and to ask people to complete the item because that's what a community is for like sharing information, being able to help other people. We want also to improve the search because the way it is now, it's complicated for everyone, even me sometimes. <laughs> our improvements are based on your comments and also based on our feelings, of course. So if you want to suggest improvements, I don't say that we will be able to put them in place uh, right now because sometimes it's very, very tricky, very complicated to implement, even for uh, such a good web developer like my boyfriend. <laughs> sometimes it's trickier than that and sometimes it's meh. Don't hesitate to comment and suggest things, we will listen anyway, we write down every suggestion, even if it's not possible to implement the features now or in the near future. We all are humans, you know we have limits. <laughs> Um, I think that's all for now. I'm sorry if the editing of this video is not amazing. Uh, yeah, I've, I'm so late for the videos. I know because my life has been complicated, so I kind of forgot to post videos for two weeks, but I'm gonna catch up. And I'm not a fan of my cord. This blouse is not working, but I need to buy another blouse.
which is great. And tell me what you think. <laughs> So don't forget, be bitter, but be sweet. Oh. I broke the bot. <laughs> okay.